Now, Padanjali's direction in yoga practice is a term called Samadhi. Samadhi is a big context, I'm not going to explain too much, but it's an absorption. It is not a casual, uh, come and just move the arms and legs and just walk back. That is not yoga. So yoga is Samadhi, is a practice by which you collect your attention and you look into your breath, you look into your mind, you look into your body with such depth that your current assumption of what you are changes. You see something deeper in you, beyond what you consider yourself as right now. So that all all is the context of Samadhi. Now, now the popular story in this is, there is a story of a lion cub getting lost in a herd of sheep. And then this lion cub was um, made to grow in this family of sheep. And the lion cub felt miserable always because it thought it was the inferior sheep because it can't bleed well. It can't bleed at all. And, and it grew with that, that sadness, sadness and, and uh, uh, jealousy, jealousy of, with, with other, other sheep, sheep and all that. that. And, and one day, a, a yoga, yoga teacher, who also is a lion yoga, yoga teacher, teacher, perhaps a manasa teacher, teacher comes, comes to that, that place and, and sees this lion car acting like a sheep. And then, and then this, this teacher, teacher gives some lessons, lessons and instead of bleating lessons, lessons he gives roaring lessons. lessons. And then he took, takes him to a river and shows reflection. Through an elaborate procedure, finally the lion recognizes that it's not the sheep. It is a lion. And it roars. And that is the direction of this Padanjali's teaching too. We assume we are something. And we are shivering in weakness and limitations and anxiety and all that. Assuming that we are something. And the teachings is trying to make you connect to a deeper part in you where it's like that power. You recognize that you're much greater than what, what you consider yourself as. So these are the larger context of yoga. And to make you connect to this deeper part, um, we, our vehicle, our approach is called Hatha Yoga. Hatha Yoga is when you're using your body and movements and breath as the means by which you achieve this Samadhi. Now, how do we, how do, we do that? That again is another very short story. Story of a piece of salt. So this piece of salt um, had a normal life and normal life comes with sometimes disappointments and emotional upsets and the piece of salt generally goes to shopping malls and movies and all that but when it's upset it goes to the beach and it just watches the ocean and it doesn't know somehow it feels a bit better coming near the ocean so one day again a yoga teacher comes there and uh, the yoga teacher sees this salt and uh, the salt says that it feels better whenever it's near the ocean, but then it always goes back to its miserable ways. So one day the yoga teacher said, okay, do you, I'm a yoga teacher, um, if you trust me, I can give you an experience. And the salt says, okay, no problem, you can do whatever you want. So the teacher put the salt piece in a particular package, tied it to a string, and slowly took it into the ocean and dropped it in the ocean. And the salt was initially like incredibly scared because it felt itself dissolving um, and it's no longer that piece of salt. But then it found that along with that losing of saltishness of that piece of salt, it started to experience that it's actually one with the ocean. It started to sense its oceanness. The entire ocean is salt and it starts to realize that it is actually this immense ocean itself is not separate from it. And, and that, that is samadhi, samadhi. okay? That, that is samadhi. That, that kind of merging and experiencing itself in that larger uh, continuum. And then the teacher gently pulled it back, left it for drying, and it, it comes back as a salt, but this, this wisdom is already there. Okay, so it doesn't become overly miserable because it knows it's always that ocean. It's never separate from that vastness. So that is the direction of Hatha Yoga. So Hatha Yoga, what it says is exactly this thing, Salile Saindavam. Salila meaning ocean. Saindavam meaning a piece of salt. 
like a piece of salt, when it goes near the ocean and as it steps in the ocean, it becomes one with it. Likewise, you will achieve a oneness. And there are approaches you can do with me. You can just take your right arm up and right arm down. And I can, you can just partly listen to me and partly sense his movement. So the approach of Hatha Yoga is you start to sense his movement. This right arm is going up, right arm is going down, right arm is going up, it's going down. And initially we can get caught up in the, in the context of how much can I take up. And, and that's all fine. But after a while, the teacher guides your attention to sensing this movement, not judging the movement, but sensing the movement, feeling the movement. There is this energy, there is a muscular energy which is taking the arm up and down, but behind the muscular energy there is a nervous system energy, and behind that we can say it's a universal energy which is expressing through your nervous system, your muscles, and now you're like that small piece of salt starting to go closer and closer into the universal ocean of energy through this movement of the arm. And someday as we are concentrating on this, you will achieve a merger, a sense of oneness. So it's not just one arm moving, you start to sense that this is the energy of the universe itself which is moving through you. So then that salile saindabam, that happens into the ocean, the salt piece merges and realizes its bigger identity. So this is the direction of our practice. It looks so shape-based. I mean, but, I mean, some of you initially are coming for the shape, that's fine. But um, as you continue along, the shape won't always satisfy you. Okay, initially it's good for some photo op and all, but late, you need this inner connection. Okay, so these are the directions of the practices. I think that should be enough as a base.